It's called The Beast's Garden, and it's a retelling of the Grimm's version of Beauty and the Beast set in the underground resistance to Hitler in Nazi Germany. Well, The Beast's Garden is an idea that came to me um, just... It was really, I was half asleep, and it just came to me like this bolt of lightning. I knew that I had to write it. I'd been working on the Grimm Brothers and the Grimm Brothers fairy tales, and I read about one of their stories, which is called The Singing, Springing Lark. It's the beauty of the beast tale, but it's far more beautiful and far more active and courageous than the story that we all know. And the idea just came to me to retell this story, but set in Nazi Germany and set in the underground resistance. Most people don't actually realise that, that there was an underground resistance to Hitler in Germany at the time. This is primarily because most of them were, were betrayed and executed, but there were a few that survived. I've always been interested in the Second World War and I've always wanted to write a book set during that period. So I've actually been collecting books for about 10 years or more. Um, but the, you know, the research was quite intensive. There's not a lot written about the underground resistance um, movement in Germany and there's an awful, there was an awful lot for me to know about you know, the Third Reich and about the general's plot to assassinate Hitler and just generally about what life was like in Berlin when they were being bombed mercilessly and as the Allies were closing in on the city, what it must have been like to live there at that time.